tables are one of the foundational structures in data modeling tables. So I've given an example of a country table. Now we're going to be talking about the building blocks for data modeling. First one being table or entity. You can use these names interchangeably. A table can be something for which you want to store data for or collect data for. Examples can be customer. If you want to collect data about a customer, its behavior. It can be automobile, the type of cars that are going on a particular highway. It can be products. So anything that you want to collect data for. Second, column or attribute. These are just characteristics of the table. So if you want to collect data for the customer, the customer being the table, the columns for the customer table can be first name, last name, phone number, address, etc. Third is data types. So each of those columns can have a certain type of data type. Data type, all it is is that if it's a phone number, we have a number as a format of the column. If it's a name, then it's more of a textual data. So just the different flavors of those columns. Fourth is cardinality of relationship, is what defines how the two table or entities are linked with each other and just kind of is more of a descriptive way of saying how they are related with each other. And we're going to go into detail the different types of cardinalities and relationships that are present. Fifth is the primary key. is kind of what defines the customer. Is it the social security number? Is kind of the primary identifier. And then foreign keys is a concept that will become more apparent as we go down explaining the different type of relationships and how tables are linked. So these six building blocks are very important to understand how data is related to each other. So we'll go and explain each of these building blocks in detail in the following slides. Tables are one of the foundational structures in data modeling. As the definition states, it's collection of related data, right? So we were talking about if it's customer, we want to have a customer table. So it's a structured format in which databases create these tables. So I've given an example of a country table. Let's go try to look at each section of the table. So the stuff that's highlighted in orange are basically the attributes or columns. So we have country ID, we have country, and then we have last updated column. Country ID listing individual unique IDs, and then the country is listing a textual information, and then there's a time value for last updated. So these are columns or attributes. If you look at the bottom section of the slide, created that in green, those are actual values or data elements. So data elements are, if you look at the last row, country ID 9, so 9 Austria, each of these individually are data elements. If someone says, how many columns do you see in this slide? So I would say three, country ID, country, and last update. Data is added as rows or tuples. So if you look at horizontally, country ID 2, Algeria, and the last update value, that row becomes one record in the database. Another important concept is of primary key. Each of these rows that you see are identified by a unique identifier. So country ID 1 through 9 is unique. 1, 2, 3, up to 9. So you don't see that being repeated. Understanding the way tables are structured is very important in defining the relationships that we're going to learn in the following slides. 
we will be talking about data types or in other words you can say is the type of format that a column has in the database so whenever you try to insert a data we need to know if it's a date if it's a string or if it's a number so for a date column date of birth in this example the format is first yyyy is the year portion dash mm is the month and dash dd is the day so 2000 dash 10 dash 10 would be the format of a data element and the second date format is a date where we have hours minutes and seconds as well so for certain scenarios we can have the date field defined in a more granular way so date would be the first um, data type second data type is strings so strings are more or less you know in a case of customer table you know we can have customer first name last name anything textual and then we have two variations a var car variable character and the character we don't need to go too much into detail but they both hold string values the third category of data types come under number so anytime we want to store numbers you know for instance your car's mile like we were talking about an automobile table so if you have mileage for the car that mileage column can be stored as a number so for number you can have a data type of an integer or a small int depending on how big the number is or if we have decimal places we want to represent like for instance a customer paid amount like if you paid for a Starbucks coffee and the amount was some dollars and then some cents so we can represent that by a data type of decimal if you know the data types and the category of date strings and numbers you can do majority of the data analysis knowing these data types